Today is the 21st of September 2012. We are in Troy, New York at the Troy Senior Center. My name is Wayne Clark. I'm with the New York State Military Museum in Saratoga Springs, New York. Ma'am, for the record, would you please state your full name and date and place of birth, please? My name is Josephine Mary Ray. That's my, my birth name. Mm -hmm. And I was born in Troy, uh, date of birth. Mm -hmm. 52425 in South Troy. And your married last name is? My married last name is Smith right Smith. now. Okay. Yes. Now, did you uh, attend school in Troy? Yes, in the public school number 10. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned uh, uh, dropping out of school and, and then going to work? When uh, I was. Uh, I went to work when uh, part-time you could go to work at uh, what age? Um, and and uh, I think... Uh, I think with working papers probably yeah, about yeah, 14 or 15. Th probably 15. I see. Yes, and that was uh, the Toothbeck factory. It was over in Waterville. Oh. It's right over near where Bear Manning was mm -hmm. in, in that area. Okay. And how long did you work there? Uh, I was there uh, for possibly when uh, when I went into the probably a good year, maybe possibly two years like okay. that. Okay. Um, Do you recall where you were when you heard about the attack on Pearl Harbor? Yes, I do. I was in Washington D.C. at a concert outside. I could see it right now, sitting at the all these benches going all the way up, and. Uh, announcer, announcer, announcement. The Japanese surrendered to the, the Allies. The Japanese surrendered to the Allies. Oh, um, That's what they were saying. Okay, now going back to 1941 when Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, when we got, when we declared war against Japan, when we went. I wasn't there at that time, no. Okay. I was in, 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 at home. Right, well, well when you heard about that happening, uh, did life change for you in Troy? Uh, in, in this way, because all, all the young fellows were, including, including my, my brother, were... Uh, Being drafted or...? He wasn't drafted, he... Um, enlisted? Enlisted. I see. And uh, he, he didn't have too much of a chance. He wasn't there very long. And uh, that's what... Is, could tell you that part if you want to know that that's what happened at that time. Um, he enlisted. We mm -hmm. could see around that all sure it's everybody was, but the fellas were going and going, you know, mm -hmm. whose mother, whose son, everybody, and most of our area were, were, were did not come back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, did, did uh, life change immediately or soon after the attack on Pearl Harbor? Was there a lot of uh, Obviously, a lot of people going into the service. What about shortages, uh, rationing? Do you recall any of that? I, I say, I, yes, I do. I, I think we had to go to different places to get, uh, I remember their bread or something like that with a ticket or when you get them from, from the churches. Mm -hmm. That I do remember. I belonged to St. Anthony's Church all my life. It's around the corner here. Okay. Now, you mentioned you went into the service in 1944, and uh, you you went into the army. Why did you pick the army? I didn't choose the army. Uh, that was uh, I wanted to. My brother, if you see, it was a marine. Mm -hmm. uh, the age difference was there. There was two different ages: the marine and the army, and I didn't. Uh, it didn't. I couldn't go into the Marine Corps, the, the, the age was different. I see. And I said, no matter which one it is, I will go because I just want to go in there because of my brother. Mm -hmm. And they said, you can go into the Army. And that was it. And uh, when, when you had enlisted in the Army, was your brother still living at that point? No, that's why I went in. Okay. What, when T do you want me to tell you that? Sure, sure, and you can you can hold up the picture also. My brother was 19 years old. Okay. I was working in the, the factory at the, in Waterville, at the 
uh, toothpaste factory. Yeah. Someone came and got me. The telegram came, and my sister was in the house, and she was only 14, I guess, and they gave her the telegram. Oh, Unfortunately, she didn't really figure everything out until my mother, as a matter of fact, was going right by my house in a funeral, and they stopped the cars. This is some story to tell. They stopped the cars, and she went out, ran out to them, and said, this is, you know. The telegram said, his name, Severia John Ray, mm -hmm. unfortunately was shot down. I got papers home. That's all we have. We don't have anything of it. Shot down by the Japanese in New Hebrides, Guadalcanal, 1943. No bodies, no recovery. Now you that say, was it. You say he was shot down. Was he on an airplane? Yes. Okay. Uh, was, was he a crew member? Was he a yes. gunner? Or? Both, both a part-time crew member and part-time uh, co-pilot like that. Okay. And um, that was the that was I could see it was seems like yesterday when we they came over to get me and come back to the home house and on Hill Street and told this. And it seems like yesterday I could see myself running out to the out to the backyard, you know, being distraught. Mm -hmm. And it was like it was yesterday, and I just want to tell you that this fella that lived down the block came to my mother a month later. He said I couldn't come to you right away. We were shooting at the, at the Japanese when they're going by, while they were shooting at Sonny's plane. We call him Sonny. Mm -hmm. He said we were shooting at them, but they had already got their plane, and and that was all. Okay. That there was no. That was it. Okay. And was your father living at that point? Yes, he didn't last very long. It okay. was, was too traumatic. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of work did your father do? My father was an electrician and had a full orchestra. And when we were little kids, my father played every instrument. That's why we're all in music. Really? He's in, I do shows here and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to know all that yet. And, um, but he was a, a fine electrician of all kinds, too. Mm -hmm. You know, self-made me in those days, they, yeah. they knew how. They didn't have to be taught these things mm -hmm. in, in the, that era. Okay. So you, you went into the Army, and you went in in 1944. You left... Uh, 46. Two years I was there. Right. You left from Albany to go into the Army. Whereabouts did they send you for your basic training? Uh, uh, I think it was Georgia. Okay, was it Fort Benning or Fort Gordon? I Gork? think it was. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, that's a, that's I got a, it somewhere in my mind, Georgia. Uh, I'll think about it. Okay. Again. <laughs> All right. But it was, it was, and I did Marine training. We had to do Marine training, which was very, you know, and mm -hmm. I was only, you know, just about 18. Now, was that your first time away from home? Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Were you homesick at all? Uh, just once around Christmas when I, you know, felt mm -hmm. blue, you know. But I did, a, I did, I met a lot of people and I did a lot of mu dancing in the, in the, also, as you could see, when they asked me what I'd like to do, I was surprised. I said, I love driving in the motor patrol. If that oh. was, and they said, yeah, they gave me the initial. Okay. Military, they said, you're going to be a military police. I'm a kid. I didn't know what was going on. Uh -huh. I said, I don't know what to do. They'll tell you what to do. Uh -huh. And they did. They used, I was the youngest one in that. And they'd say, come on, kid. We're going over here. Come on, kid. We're going over there to take care of this or take there. We also rode the horses around the, the base, too, to look at everything. Mm -hmm. I rode horses here, too. But that's what we what we did. Uh, okay. Actually, it's, you had a the, picture there. Yeah. Do you want to hold, hold that up? and? Now, though, I see on horseback there, that, that was, where, whereabouts was that? Was that down in Georgia, too, or? This was in Virginia. Virginia? It's right here. Yeah, Virginia. Okay, okay, let me, yeah, hold it right there, and I'll zoom in on it. So, so you were uh, in the military police? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and and uh, on base, they... They rode horse, horseback? At times, at times. Okay. 
You can set that set that down. There's a oh that's the cool while, while you're holding that, let me get a let me get a shot it of you. Isn't too. my brother something to look at? Yes, a, a very handsome fellow. And let me get a shot of you here. Some people say to me, Is that you? I says, I can't look like that now, for heaven's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Quite attractive. Okay. We um, had the innocence in that era too. Mm -hmm. He says, well, the guys with I said, no matter what they, you know, was were, were just a little different at the time. Uh huh. So you went through. Uh, they put you in the military police. What kind of training did you have? Was it on the job, or did you go to an actual uh, military school? Uh, it was mostly on the job. Mm -hmm. It was mostly on the job. Uh, uh, they, we went around. Uh, you know. We, it, Different different places on the base, and uh, told where the jails and this and that that was nearby. Anyway, mm -hmm. there is one episode I just came to my mind. Okay, you want to tell us about yes, that? Yes, yes. Um, we were called into the office, and they said we have to bring our own our own uh, soldiers in and put them in our jail. Our soldiers who were over in Germany stole the Hess jewelry. I don't know if you ever would, well I remember that because I was there. They stole gems from the Germans okay. and we, when we, and he, when I had to put them in, I'm, you know, I'm a really young kid, but even though the other ones were young also, I was a, a female, mm -hmm. oh we had two other females and uh, one was from, uh, one was from New York, Brooklyn, New York, big strapping girl. Uh -huh. And uh, they said you have to arrest these people because they stole from the Germans. They stole from the Germans. What did they do? Who, you know, they did everything to us. And I thought yeah. that was kind of. I hope they. I hope they kept them gems. <laughs> now, did you ever uh, get into any scuffles or fights or anything while while arresting people? Uh, not not anything. Uh, Big, there was verbal kind uh -huh. of thing, you know, that they, uh, you know, even though it's kind of nice to, you know, a nice person and all, that is uh, sometimes, yes. Mm -hmm. He said, see. you know, look at, you know, you're, you're taking care of put me in jail, you little squirt or something like that. Uh -huh. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. I never say that word. Not mm -hmm. that it's, uh, but it's just not uh, ladylike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, did you carry a weapon? What we carried was uh, a club, and um, two kind of clubs, yes. Not a gun, no. Somebody said, did you carry a gun? They did show us how. Mm -hmm. Yes, they did. They showed us how to, to use a gun, which, uh, you know, that's a big surprise to use a gun. Mm -hmm. But I did. I mean, I was young. I was okay by, by me, you know. Did you uh, like wear an armband on your mm -hmm. uniform yes, that's yes. an MP? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And when we when I go out when we went out when I went out to go to one of the dances, always in uniforms, and that was only size ten. I used to bring my pretty little clothes and my high heels and a little bag. You know, after I was out, I changed my clothes. And but when you came back in, you had to be in a certain time. Then I put the uniform on. You could not go around without that uniform, I see. which was great. We mm -hmm. were there. We were. We were. I, I like. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that kind of thing. It was uh, showed what you were. I mm -hmm. really, I really felt big on that. On being in in in, uh, in the military. Absolutely, I felt great. I was ho hoping that you know it did something about my brother losing his life, mm -hmm. because that's why I went in. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would have. No. Now, how did your parents react? To you joining the the army, were they upset about it? Sure, or? Mm -hmm. sure they were. Yes, they were. Uh, I said, mother, this is. I mean, I you know that's the reason. I'll, I'll also, you know, it's the reason such and such, and then you know, calm down like that. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you another incident. I was called into the Pentagon building. Okay. And I said they told me to walk up and down. Generals all kinds of high-ranking so, uh, people, and they said, you were chosen out of the full company to model the new new uh, uniform, uh, the uh, new uniform of the uh, Army overseas. Okay. What an honor. 
-hmm. it didn't go. I, it didn't go. When I called home, even now I could hear my mother scream. You'll go. You'll you'll die like your brother. Mm -hmm. And it never went. Mm -hmm. I, naturally, you think I could? We were close. We were close family. Sure. I could never do anything like that. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want sure it was a, a, a great thrill, a great honor out of whole full company. And they kept looking at me, going back and forth. Yeah, you know, I look good. Mm -hmm. And that was uh, that was the whole story. I never went. Okay. Now, uh, whereabouts uh, in the states were you stationed? I know you you mentioned being in a, a quite a number of different places. Yes, I, yeah, that was it. Well, the, well, those little places: uh, Virginia, Georgia, uh, uh, Jersey. Uh, Washington. Okay, met, pardon? It's in Washington, of course. Washington, yes. And um, there was a couple, a couple others beyond that, beyond Georgia. I'm trying to think, because we were we were asked if we would want to choose too. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we first there, uh, I you know I said, oh, I can get a place to get closer, and it can go you know to New York like that. But then it didn't. Well, that didn't pan out too mm -hmm. much. But. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other places. They were beyond you, way further, further. Further uh, west. Yeah. Okay. Did you get out to California at all? No. Okay. You, if you mention a couple of places like past Georgia and like that, I could probably remember. Okay. Um, now you mentioned uh, driving. What, what type of vehicles did you drive? Did you drive the Jeep? Jeeps. Or? They were Jeeps. Okay, just Jeeps. I've been driving since I was 14 years old. Uh -huh. And it was never a problem. It's still not a problem. Mm -hmm. Only when I was just hospitalized, I didn't get back to driving for four months because I was uh, really bad. I see. Now, uh, what did you think of the Jeep? Did you like it? Sure. <laughs> sure. It was fine. Okay. You know, some of the cars I have are, <laughs> um, I always get a, a that would never, driving never, never was, I was never, Leery about driving in any way, no. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Even now, even now. He said, you know, are you still driving? I said, don't put anything in my mind because uh, it's not there. I don't, you know, I don't have any any fear of anything. Mm -hmm. no. Okay. I'm very active. I'm very active where I live. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm active here. Volunteer. I'm, I love to volunteer. Okay. Now, while you were in the service, uh, did you ever see any USO shows or anything like that? Mm -hmm. Any entertainers? Yes, and it was usually in Washington, mm -hmm. and a couple of places were a station. They had some. As a matter of fact, I got up a couple of times with somebody and danced on the stage. Yes, oh, did you yes, really? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay. Because it was one of the fellas there that we were dancing, you know, around the barracks or whatever. Uh, we went out, uh, you know, and went to one of our dances. A group, a group yep. that could dance, went over to uh, one of these uh, places to dance when it was in Washington or wherever. And then we'd, we'd go and, and they said, come right up here. And we did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, some, about three or four, came home to visit. My mother said, who are these people? Who are these guys? It's just fellas from the. And we went to some of the dances here. Just, do you like any of them? I said, I like them all, Mother, not like that, you know. <laughs> I said, I'm old enough to, but it's uh -huh. just, uh, I had too many things to do, but I, then yeah. I was I was young anyway when I you know, uh -huh. got married, so. Okay. Now, any uh, big name entertainers like Bob Hope or any of the movie actors? Yeah, I'm trying or? to think of, uh, not Bob Hope, but there was, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, what, what kind of living quarters did you have? Were you in barracks, or? Uh, yeah, I, uh, well, you couldn't cover, you know, whatever. I wasn't that type to, uh, they used to tease me a little bit, because uh, that was the way they was. That's the way you're, you know, brought up. My sister and I, were we look alike, we're only you know, a couple of years apart, and we're both in music, too. You know, mm -hmm. she was, we did shows here in our area, and, mm -hmm. and long, right along, and, but it was, as far as that, a uh, couple of the girls, some of the girls were, didn't bother them, but it did me. So I just, 
you know, just know how to just uh, address things, you know, do it without any commotion. Okay. So, uh, what was, uh, like, your time off? Obviously, you were interested in dancing, so you, you attended a lot of the dances. Mm -hmm. and on the post, on the, I think we had a little golf, and I'm not big on golf, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, races like that, which we uh, do, and um, we had a few things on the post like that, but uh, music was uh, big, mm -hmm. it was big here, so it was, it was big there, and it's even bigger and bigger because I'm here. Mm -hmm. Now, being a woman in uniform when you were off base, how were you treated by civilians? Uh, there, there wasn't, uh, I there wasn't around too much, but I, there was no uh, trouble because I was a. Uh, I, mean, I, 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 I heard, was so, I heard uh, stories like uh, if you were in uniform, people offered you rides, they, they pay for your meals and that. Any, there was, oh, in a nice way you're talking? Yeah, oh, yes, nothing, oh, I see. nothing yeah. negative. Oh, I, I see. Oh, yes, there were. There were people that were. Yes, they were. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, would you like to have this or that? Yes, truly. Mm -hmm. That's it. I, I thought, you know, I was thinking something went another way. Another way that if they resented you in, a, in some way, no. No, they were. Mm -hmm. the, absolutely. The public was absolutely, especially female, too. You know, you mm -hmm. don't see a great deal, but there was a few on our post in, uh, in Virginia, and uh, they were exceptionally, exceptionally nice, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you recall uh, the death of President Roosevelt? Uh, yeah. Uh, I know. Uh, what, what year was that again? Uh, uh, he died uh, just before the, the war in Europe ended. He died in April of uh, 1945. Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the what exactly where. Well, he was sick. But he was ill for quite yeah. a while. I know that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh huh. I also got a paper from uh, Truman, who ended this war. Oh yes. Okay. I, I think it's somewhere here. Now, when the war, when before the <coughs> whole war was over, <coughs> excuse me, when the war in Europe ended. Was there, the war with Germany, was there much celebration that you can recall? Surely, yes. Well, when I, I could see, as I told you, I was right there at the concert, and when they announced it, everybody was, uh, uh, you know, running this and that, and I said to a policeman, oh, I said, I don't know how to get on to, I have to get back to base, said, could you tell me? Where to, you know, this where the buses are, or how with all the people running and screaming. Mm -hmm. and all. But that announcement was so tremendous when they said the Japanese surrendered okay. to yeah. the ally, uh, Allies. Yep. Yeah. And, and you know. Yeah, that was in August of '45. And every it was startled, and then mm -hmm. naturally I went home after that. But at that time, I was just I was like stranded there. I got to get back, uh -huh. and then somebody says, "Listen, if that's the way, you could you know go with our crowd here or there." But the policeman did show me, you know, and if we were later, all that meant nothing. Uh -huh. That meant nothing. But I was you know I was young, and for me to to, to wait around by myself, mm -hmm. is uh, it was you know it was a big thing. Okay. Now, the war ended in August of 1945. Uh, you, you were discharged in 1946. Um, do you recall when in 1946 it was? Was it in the winter time or the spring? Or? I, I know it was, um, it, uh, I, think it, I think it was toward winter because I had, I was seeing about that heavy uniform. It's right there in the picture. Okay. Because uh, I think so. I got, I got the date home. Now, did you have the option to re-enlist? Were you asked to re-enlist? I would have if, if, if my mother didn't uh, want me home. I see. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yes, because that was a traumatic thing. It's naturally about my brother. Mm -hmm. So for me to say anything different, mm -hmm. even like going and having the honor of being asked to go overseas, that was out. 
-hmm. that was a, uh, we were close. We were close family. There was no, no way, mm -hmm. you know, no mm -hmm. way to, uh, you know, even when I wanted to go out on Friday when there was dances and all, and say, well, you know, we got to, uh, you'll have to let that one go or something. That's the way it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you were you were discharged in 1946. When you came home, uh, did you make use of the GI Bill at all? I don't know what that was about. To tell you the truth. They they what? offered um, they offered education. Uh, you could buy use the GI Bill to to buy a home. You were you were s still single at that point, and when did you get married? Not very long after I was, uh, I went right back to, to Bear Bandy because mm -hmm. they held the, there was no question about it. Right, they had to give you your and, job uh, back. I was only there a little while and then uh, I went up to, they said, they called me the office because they, the GIs don't like the uh, when the ones that uh, give them, uh, ask for money and all, uh, what's the name of their, uh, that they don't like the, uh, Uh, they didn't like. They didn't do anything for them. The. Uh, oh. I, I don't know. And they didn't. Uh, um, they said they didn't want to give money to the. Or. When they went to get something from them when they came home, they did was. Oh, like with the rationing, you mean, or, or, shortage shortages. But the name of the the the, the people that give them to you. That they're still doing, you know, still in. If you want some things, you go to them. Oh, the black market, you mean? Or? No. I don't know. And um, so they asked me if I would see if about collecting because of war. If you, after wars, are we collecting, you know, little bits of donations about money? Okay. And so she said because they don't, they won't give any money to the. <laughs> I'm still trying to think what it is to the... Oh, like, oh, okay, like the Red Cross, was that it? Something, that's it, that's it. Yeah, okay. And so I did, and when I was walking down the aisle, this fellow was looking out like that, she had black hair, and uh, so I went to him, he says, I said, would you care to, uh, and I was in uniform, because mm -hmm. they want you, you know, that's, that'll, that's, the, that's yeah. the thing, too, that'll try to, you know, get them to, to do something about it. And uh, so he he said to the he said to the fellow, "When I was that," and he said that her name is Joe Ray, and uh, he said, uh, "I'm going to marry that girl," and that was the story. Oh, really? And that's the truth. Huh. Okay. Now, did you uh, did you stay in contact with any of the people you were in the service with? No, they were all they were all you know all over mostly. Uh, the three girls were from the, uh, Brooklyn and um, somewhere else, and you say that was, but sometimes it's uh, maybe it's because we were young and all. It mm -hmm. could be that we were going to continue what we had to continue. Mm -hmm. It's not like if it was now or someone say, "Hey, I'm not doing much, but I'll get on a car and come down and see you," and like that. And it was and a couple of letters like that, but. Everybody was back mm -hmm. to formal education, formal sure. because you're young enough to start o over again, yep. start all the things and and uh, your whole life. Nobody was married at that time, and all the role. Mm -hmm. I was the youngest, but none of them were, you know, you're, you're 20 years, two or 25 or something like that. Okay. Now, did you uh, end up joining any veterans organizations like the? American Legion? Or? I belong to the, 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 uh, the post that right near our place. Okay. And there's four, uh, I belong to it. My brother's one of them, and it's called the Chicarelli, Agers, Ray, and Bevavino. It's right near us. Okay. And I, I'm, 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 those are the four fellas that didn't come, that right. were in our area that didn't come back. But I do belong to it. Okay. Yes. So we have, you know, when they flag day and things like that, you're there and you participate sure. like that. Okay. I belong to a, 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 when there's things in the in the down in the uh, veterans hospital. If they have things going on, I go down there. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, 
see all those poor fellows at Shaffa, they were all, you know, pretty mm -hmm. okay. sick. Now, when did you get married? Um, was it? Quickly. <laughs> I was, I was uh, let's see, I was 18, I was 21. Okay. And no, how many children did you I have? I have a boy and a girl. My son is a professor in Hudson Valley College. Okay. My girl, my daughter, she, is a, a, she lives in Latham. Okay. She works. Any grandchildren? Yes. I have three grandchildren. One, one girl, she lives in Tupper Lake. Okay. And two boys, and my son's two boys. Okay. How do you think your time in the service changed or affected your life? Uh, only, uh, it, 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 it was, uh, this, the experience, uh, was so, so, you know, it was, uh, I could try to get the right word for it. It, it was terrific. It was, mm -hmm. it, it's, uh, it just made me, it made me think of my, my brother always, mm -hmm. even after, you know, coming home. Yeah. It, it made me think that I, that was for him. Mm -hmm. That was for him. Do you ever, uh, looking back, do you, uh, any regrets going into the service? Uh, do, you, do, do you still miss it at I'm, all? No, I, I, I wish I, um, I would have, as you said, if you, would you want to re-enlist? Mm -hmm. I would have, but my mm -hmm. dear mother. Sure. That's, that's, that's the, uh, uh, yes, I would have stayed, yes. Mm -hmm. So it was a very positive experience for you. Absolutely. And I, I see young, that... I was young enough to stay in. Mm -hmm. I see yeah. you're a very patriotic uh, person also. And what, what way is that? <laughs> well, with the uh, with the pins and the, uh, Absolutely. the flags and Absolutely. the stars. And uh, you've got some uh, some other photographs too here. That's the Patriot flight. Yes. Uh, do you want to t tell us about that? And maybe, maybe you can put that photo down and you can hold Here's this other one up. That's the one with, that was written for the oh, end of the war, right? Oh, okay. Could you, if you put that one down, right. and if you hold that up right in front of you, I can I can zoom right in and on it with the camera. You know the name here, don't you? Oh, okay. sure. <laughs> okay. We needed him a long time ago, right? <laughs> and that was signed by uh, President Truman. Yes, and he bombed oh. the, over there, and naturally everybody was... This, it was bad for all the people, but mm -hmm. it ended everything. Okay, if you, you turn that around, you've got some photos there. That, is it the Patriot flight? Okay, we just get some shots of that. Uh, there you are. And when did you go on the Patriot flight? How long ago was that? Only a few months ago. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, I will tell you about something about the, uh, Washington. Okay. Washington was not like it is now. Okay. I was, you, you can set that down if you I like. was in Washington, when, oh, and I used to go there. Yeah. They only had a couple of things there, mm -hmm. a couple of places that go over there and see, you know, a little couple of places. But what they did to Washington now, all these different places, all the military places, unbelievable. And I took one of my pictures of my brother and I. He said, if you want to leave it, we will, we will put them in the institution where they have all the pictures. I put them right in oh, front of one of the places there. It's it's magnificent. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Um, yes, yeah. quite, quite a number of years yeah. ago. I, I haven't been there recently. Actually, it's been about 20 years since I've been there. Oh, well, I don't think they had all this 20 years ago. No. Well, it, it's it's amazing because when I was naturally, they only had a couple of little places there. So this was, uh, it, well, it's uh, it's unreal about what all the all the places they have, all the places where all the uh, Vietnam and this place, that place, mm -hmm. and World War Two and even World War One and everything. It's a uh, it's some place to see, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. And as far as the Patriot flight, that was... You want me to talk about it? 
Sure. Okay. We left here when it's six thirty in the morning, and the, you know the entourage they have following you. They I have, I've heard about that. They have. You go over to uh, Sam's Club in in uh, Latham. Up in and, Latham, yes. And they start from there at six thirty, and behind you is all these motorcycles, the police cars, the the. the uh, um, um, the other uh, firemen. Oh yeah. All these are all the way to the airport. Mm -hmm. And on the way, all the people are out and they're out, out in the street for World War II veterans. Very all the nice. people that live in that area, all mm -hmm. the way down, are waving flags and and saying hello and everything all mm -hmm. the way down. And then we got on the plane. And in Baltimore. It was outstanding, even children from schools. But the one from when we got into the airport here and they called your name up, I was the only female in the flight. Oh, were you? <laughs> <laughs> Made you feel a little important. And mm -hmm. so it just happened. So it just happened uh -huh. that I was the only female because there were on the other flights they were. And they called your name and they yep. called Corporal Josephine. And they got up and, you know, they, they have music there, bands, everything. Yep. It was just. So then when we got to Baltimore, absolutely startling. The people from there also outside and everything mm -hmm. and inside and it was it was just magnificent how they gave you this you know, this great great tribute. Absolutely mm -hmm. great. Wonderful. And then when we got there too, it was the, the And, and it must have been quite a quite a day seeing all the monuments and that being treated as a celebrity. When, when I saw that Washington, all those places, mm -hmm. the people came right up to you. Even the students, I got, I have from grade school, I got papers that they, they broke little things on. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring them. Now, did Wash? I I imagine Washington had really changed. Was was any of it familiar to you at all? A little bit. Mm -hmm. When we go on some of the streets, well, where our station was right next door. Oh, okay. Right at, uh, for uh, Fort Myer, Virginia. Yeah. It was right next door, and I didn't realize that until I saw the people going into Fort Myer. And I said, my goodness, I was just, that's where I was. Hmm. So it was like a hop, skip, and a, skip and a jump to go to Washington. Okay. We also have uh, oh. th these certificates that uh, you have brought along. Do you want to hold those yes. up and tell, tell us about it? These are some of the officials in, in our city that wrote about you being in the military and also on this uh, as um, the merit and it's a New York Senate is from Senator McDonald, Senator uh, Ron Canistrari, uh, and not only the Patriot, we were chosen uh, as lifetime achievements. That's okay. what these were. Okay. These are lifetime achievements. Okay. I have several of them from all the officials in our city. All right. Do you want to show me the one behind there? Just. Yeah, that one there. Let me just zoom in on that Captain one. Captain Givino. I have one from her. I didn't bring them all because... Uh, Too many of them, huh? <laughs> uh, the, all the officials. Okay, very nice. Okay. All right, is there anything else you'd like to say before we close? No, my, son's, my son wants to talk. He's in the military. But I said he's, he said he'd hear, but he only had to get... He's a professor, mm -hmm. and he couldn't get out of it. I said, even, you know what I said to him? Even if he got fired, this is very important. He <laughs> says, well, I'll leave it to you to say things like that. Uh, he would, yes, he wanted to be right in here. Okay, well, we, we can wait for him. All right, well, thank you so much for your interview. I loved it. I had a lot of things to say, didn't I? You certainly did, and well said, too. Thank you. Did everybody have a lot of things to say? Sure, yep. Good, good. Feel hey, we are back again with uh, Josephine and her son, John and with some uh, family photographs. Okay. This picture here is uh, my uncle Sonny. 
mm -hmm. my mother's brother, who died at about 19 years old in World War II. Okay. Uh, as you can see, he has you know, like movie star good looks. Yes. Can you see that? Oh, can definitely. You, now, uh, the, the young lady with him? Uh, you know what? I really don't know. Do you know who the lady is? No. Oh, okay. Um, Not a real fan. Much of my life, even though he died before uh, I was born, mm -hmm. I, you know, often lamented not knowing him, thinking he would have been, you know, quite a dominant figure sure. in my life. And I write for the local newspaper, and I wrote a whole column about how I miss somebody I've never known. So there's that picture. And here is the picture of my father and uh, Carl. He was in the Army, like my mother. Okay. And he I, I, see, I see he was in the Army Air Force. You know what? I don't. I don't know that insignia. He probably but does. He was uh, uh, an instructor. He instructed uh, young recruits on, you know, how to use their weapons. Okay. Uh, somewhere, I think, in Texas. Okay. And he died uh, over a decade ago. Okay. And then there is a humorous photo of me when Why I was. <laughs> well, I think it. You know, it looks like it like I look like a high school cheerleader. Now. Anyway, this what? is when I was in the Navy in the Vietnam era. Okay. And I was uh, 19 years old, 20 years old, that type of thing. Okay. And now I'm 62. So it was a while ago. <laughs> All right. Okay. Any, anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, uh, go ahead, Um I don't know. I just uh, am proud of my parents who were in the armed forces, and I was proud to be in the armed forces. And uh, uh, I think it's certainly different today than some of the young people have such difficult experiences and tragic experiences mm -hmm. in you know, overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I don't want to talk politically and all that other stuff about it. I'm just proud that I'm a veteran and my parents are vets and you know, I have a lot of friends that are veterans. But in, in some way, we're all connected to vets. Mm -hmm. You know, if I ask somebody if they have a family member they have a vet or if they have a neighbor that's a vet or a friend that's a vet. So we're all certainly connected. And when the vets come, you know, home this time from the current wars, they certainly need all our support mm -hmm. and attention. Yes. Do you tell them where you had, where you went to, where the war was, and you had to go, you went to uh, to Vietnam. Vietnam. Well, I went on yeah. a trip. We took combat vets. I volunteered for an organization called Soldiers Heart, led by Dr. Edward Tick, internationally known for his work with vets. And we, he brings combat vets back mm -hmm. to Vietnam. For for healing and reconciliation. Mm -hmm. uh, vets that have emotional wounds buried for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. So I went on a trip with them, you know, as a supportive person, a therapist, and a vet myself. So um, it was quite an experience, and he's been doing that for 30 mm -hmm. years. Um, in Africa too, what, what's Well, it? Africa was something different. It was, it was called a missions trip. You know, you go with your local church. Church, <laughs> but what all the trips I've been on. No, I meant for that. Per yeah. No, for that. Yeah, purpose. well, there were there were purpose. humanitarian type yeah. trips, and I was lucky enough to be able to go and help out a little bit. Um, but we have so much memorabilia from the the service. We have letters from my uncle that he mm -hmm. sent my mother during World War II. Letters when he was in boot camp. Letters when he was deployed, and uh, you know I really treasure them. Just you know having his his handwriting and his. His signature is so sure. uh, meaningful to me and, and us. I wish I had that here. But we could have filmed it in writing. Well, I told them about everything. I have the letters. I have them here. Um, if you'd like, I could pull one out quick. Sure. So you can see it. Yeah. Okay. Second. Thank you. It's also the failure one. And if you hold it up right in front of you, I can zoom right in on it. I'll hold it up in front of me, and you can see the, uh, the postmark is Paris Island, uh, yes, where the that? stamp is between the... Uh, oh, yes. Can you get that Paris yep. Island? Yep. And it says, uh, let me see the date, 1942. Yep. And these are copies of the letters, but I have the actual letters also, yes, and various postcards and things that he sent. And you can see from their faded yellow color, they're really old. Uh, more postmarks, Jacksonville, Florida. And this says Naval Air Station, Jacksonville. And my uncle at the time is writing to his cousin, my cousin Peter. 
And then on the bottom, he says, you can see it on the very bottom, it says, Right soon, Johnny, or Sonny was his name. Okay. And it's just, they're just, uh, you know, poignant, sure. sensitive types of things that uh, I really enjoy looking at. So we have all kinds of memorabilia like that. And it's funny that. Uh, Look at that. Actually, if you, you'll hold it up right in front of you. Otherwise, if it's too close, it uh, gets. No, I didn't know if you were going to film there or not. I can let's see. It's starting to blur on me. I, I, I can just get the, the headlines. OK. OK. All right. It's just when my uncle left from Troy to go uh, overseas. And okay. um, so that's about all. That's all I can think of right now. You know, I could talk and talk for hours. Huh. I've, written, I've written 15 newspaper columns on veterans-related issues. Uh, so I'm very proud of that and hope to put it in some kind of compilation at some point. Okay. But right now I'm proud of my mother. Oh, hold on just a second. Let me, I'm sorry, as you were saying, I was just saying about uh, there's so many significant issues with veterans, and I've been luckily enough, uh, because I write for the local newspaper, to write uh, 15 or more veterans' columns mm -hmm. on everything about uh, my parents and tragic things like PTSD and traumatic brain injuries and how veterans have to adjust coming back to school mm -hmm. when veterans are very different. Whether they've been deployed for war or not, the difference starts in boot camp. So, you know, we have a, a rich history of veteran-oriented activities and service. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? I don't know. I think I gave him quite a bit of my, That's good. my things there, didn't I? Yes. All right. Well, thank you again, and thank okay. you, John. You're welcome.